Hello everyone, this is Bam Dele from Delaroy Studios. You're welcome to another episode of Android Programming. We'll be looking at the Android Grid View layout uh, using the JSON Web Service. You know, I think you should be, uh, if you're not familiar with JSON, uh, JSON is a sort of, uh, it's called JavaScript Object Notation in which uh, data is being passed from uh, a web service to a more readable format using uh, the, Java, uh, the JavaScript uh, syntax, the key and value pairs. Okay, uh, we have uh, a JSON data from uh, Java Tick NG, whereby we'll be using this moment. This JSON data spit out uh, a post and some images uh, and also some text view, which I actually use the, J uh, the JSON viewer beautifier to make this more readable. So that we can use this in the course of the application okay um that's fine let's go back to our application i'm using my android studios id to develop this application uh firstly we'll be using uh a library called picasso picasso is a form of library that actually helps with uh http calls from uh, uh from the web service uh using the async tax you know which has been done in the background and also helps in populating pictures you know it's uh, smoothly and it's very good okay uh, we have to add this library to our application in our dependencies we in the compile com the square up Picasso we are using the Picasso 2.5 to in this course of the application okay I would like us to look at the layout first because our layout is the the UI of the application before we move to the logic which is which is the Java classes okay I'll talk about the activity grid view in our acti activity grid view we, is um, a relative layout which has um, two fields, the grid view and the progress bar. The grid view uh, has uh, a lot of uh, components, the layout width, which is field parent, the height wrap content, we set a margin to the layout which is in 5dp, the column width, the draw selection on top gravity and so on, you can go through that yourself. There is a clickable on it which is true, so once we click on the grid view, uh, it's actually uh, transmitted to something whereby we add to add uh, the Android ID onto our grid view. The grid view will be using this ID in the course of the application. We have a progress bar that continues to roll when the application launches initially so that uh, the async tax will be done in the background to call on the uh, web service and, and uh, encode the web service into JSON and also pass the results in the application and use the necessary fields being required, the uh, key value pairs that were required from the JSON in the course of, of the application. Once this uh, uh, request has been done successfully and fully uh, executed, uh, the progress bar disappears immediately. That has been done in the logic where we'll be talking uh, uh, on needs and details very soon. Okay, uh, we'll talk about the details uh, view. Uh, there is a uh, and on click is not set on this um, click. So this takes us to the detail view, whereby each click on uh, a, grid, a grid element takes us to the picture, that's the thumbnail of that particular element, and also a text view to explain what that element is. So this actually sits uh, as a frame layout, which is because we are talking more of picture, okay? With an image view and a text view uh, as the fields in it, whereby we're gonna set uh, the layout with the height and the graffiti to match the parents and also the gravity to be centralized okay and also we have a text view which has a text color white and a text size of 20 dp okay we we'll talk about the grid item layout which is for each item of the grid which is six, which has uh, a linear layout with an image view and also a text view just like the activity grid view we talked about earlier okay this takes us down to the logic of the application we, we'll be talking about the Java classes. Uh, first Java class we talk about is the, the grid view activity, which is just going to be like the main activity, but now we are using a grid view activity as our main activity. This is extending the action bar activity, not the latest app compact. You no, know, this is still uh, a later API of Android. Okay, we have like up to four to five or uh, six uh, fields being declared. The tag, which is the grid view activity class, you know, call it on this get simple name method on it, and also the grid view, the progress bar, the grid view adapter, the array list, and also the feed URL. The feed URL is the 
uh, URL that actually calls on this uh, JSON data. You know, it actually encodes to JSON. It's, on, it's from the javatechig.com and speed out 45 posts and images in thumbnails and also uh, their text view as well. So it speeds up for the five. So we'll be encoding for the five into the course of this application. Uh, we're going to set our content view. First of all, the layout of the content view is the activity grid view, which I talked about earlier. Uh, we have a field called the M grid view, which is going to pick on the grid view ID. The progress bar also picks on the uh, progress bar ID and the grid data which comes in array leads, we have to initialize with empty data at first. The grid adapter, you know, calling on the new grid view adapter on it, also setting the layout to the grid item layout, which we talked about earlier. And the grid view setting the adapter, M grid adapter. Okay. There is an on item click list now, which is the grid view click event on the M grid view. You know, on each click of the uh, the grid layout, uh, it's going to call on to another class, which is the details activity class, and also populates uh, a layout called the grid item. Uh, okay, it's going to find the view by ID of the grid item image. Sorry, the layout that is going to populate actually sits in the details activity class. You know, with an intent. You know to another activity this is called an explicit intent which is a call from one java class to another java class in the same package okay uh when the intent is being called as some other aspect of the intent or the data that will be passed in to the intent we have the extra which is the left the top the width a height the title and the image you know this is very important is location of the left top width of the image the height of the image, the title that passes on from the uh, text activity, and also the particular image we're talking about. So we're going to start the activity and we're going to start the intent, which is going to be the details activity this time. Okay. Uh, the async HTTP tags execute, which uh, is going to call on the feed URL, which is the HTTP to the URL of the JSON data, and the progress bar was going to be set to visibility while this async tag is being executed in the background. This takes us to the uh, integer doing Bangra method. You know, there is going to be an async tax uh, HTTP call to the server, and also the result will be passed encoded, and also uh, the necessary um, fields needed of the application will be passed in. You know, there is an if statement that if the status code is 200, you know, that's successful. Else, uh, there is going to be a failed message. Uh, which the catch exception takes cognizance to that and speed it out to the console uh, gracefully. Okay, uh, there is on the post execute which calls on uh, the result if it's one, the M grid adapt adapter which calls on the image will be set. If not, there's going to be a field to fetch data uh, being passed on. Okay, once this is, has been done successfully, uh, we're going to hide the progress bar which is going to. Uh, which was set to visibility initially. Okay, uh, there's one aspect of this code that I really want us to take very, very important, which is the passing the field result and get the list. Uh, this is actually where the logic is being done. The JSON uh, object is being uh, passed. There's a try and catch method here, you know, setting on the response, getting a new JSON object and passing the result of the string, uh, that's the, is a, the string data type. Passing the result of the HTTP calls, the URL we use, the field URL we talked about earlier, and also having an iteration over it because we have up to 45 posts, you know, and we need them to be called and to, we need them to show at the same time, you know, at least let them show uh, asynchronously. Or, or that's why the for loop is very important. Uh, this actually calls on the post net and also iterates through by adding one to it. So that it gets to the last call. Okay. While about this is being done, the necessary details will be passed as well. The title, the attachments, and the URL of the images, which is very important in this course of the application. Okay. Uh, well, this takes us down to the details activity. After the main activity, which is the grid view activity, has been done successfully, and a click has been done on each grid uh, 
uh, item. This takes us to the Dictates Activity Java class, which extends the action bag activity. And there's uh, a lot of fields being declared. The animation duration, the text, the title text view, image view, uh, M left del delta, M top delta, width scale, height scale, frame layout, thumb, thumbnail top left, width, height, and so on. So this sets a content view, which is the activity details view uh, we actually explained earlier. Uh, it calls on the thumbnail top, the left, the width, and the height. This actually is going to set uh, the image to the middle so that in any view, probably it's landscape or portrait, this is going to sit well and it's going to pass in some other uh, some details, which is the title and also the particular image being called on so that uh, it's going to populate uh, to, the, uh, to the view. Okay, uh, we're going to initialize and set the image description, okay, by calling on the title text view and setting the text passed in from the title. And also, we're going to set the image URL by calling on the image view. Uh, we're going to call on the ID grid item uh, image to be set on the image view, calling on Picasso to help us do this async tax. Okay, we're going to set the background color to, to black. You can decide to pick any other color. You can put, pick marron, you can pick gray, you can pick blue. Okay, this is being done appropriately. And there's one aspect of it. We're going to save instant state so that in any uh, uh, screen rotation, the, uh, the particular uh, image will be fixed. Uh, this is not going to cause a crash of the application or you're going to set something different, you know. So this is just actually going to take care of the rotation of the uh, screen of the application. Uh, we're going to declare the enter animation scales, which is going to scale the picture in from its previous thumbnail, you know. Actually, the thumbnail is a lower scale of the uh, of the image but when this comes up to the DTEX activity this is going to bring out the real scale of the uh, image so setting up the pivot x y and scale y and x you know also set the translation of the x and y axis of the image okay uh, we're going to exit animation probably this action gets run after the animation completes this is when we actually switch activities okay Okay, when we switch activity and fade out the, you know, this is going to fade out from the background and get on it. So when the on back pressed, when we are trying to go back, you know, we exit the animation being done and we finish the course of the application. Okay, that's very fine. Uh, we talk about the grid view adapter, which is also uh, helping us in the course of the transition of the image to the details activity in Java class. Okay, uh, this sets the grid data and uh, also notify the data set changed, which is uh, a method being declared below. Okay, um, uh, okay, let's move on. Uh, we're going to get the view, which has uh, like up to three uh, parameters, the position, compact view, and also the parent for where the view is actually coming from. We're going to actually set the row to null and do the inflator. Know, inflating an image from one activity to the other. Call it on the grid ID, the title, the item title, and also the ID of the item image, and passing it onto the holder, which is what is going to actually hold on to the image and until when it's been showed on with, with Picasso to the view. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. All right, um, uh, hope I'm not omitting something very important here. Okay, let's go to the Android money first, uh, where we're going to be talking about the uh, the real, uh, let me say, the, the metadata of the application. This is going to set, we're going to, there's a permission very important, which is the internet permission. And also, uh, we're going to call, this is how to declare the activity of the grid view activity, which is the launcher activity and the call uh, the other the second activity which is the details activity and this grid view launches at first and they click on the grid view on the it on, on a particular grid calls on to, to the details activity to uh populate without this activity be specified in the adult manifest there can actually be a crash in your application okay with this high level rundown of this application i will upload this source code to my github account and i would like you to pick it from there and use it in the course of the application use it to brush yourself up on the on how to call on JSON data using the ASIN tags and also using Picasso to populate image appropriately and setting them very well in your application. 
I would like to run this in my journey, uh, in my journey motion emulator so that we can actually see the flow of the application and get it running. Okay. Okay, which built successfully. Let me like, okay, we have to take on the online journey motion. Uh, let me bring this to foreground for us to see what the application is. Okay. This scrolling uh stop right there is the uh the scrolling bar is talk about, you know, the progress bar I explained on. After this progress bar just uh instantiate first. You know, and the async tax is being done in background, so that there is a lot of HTTP call being done right now. You know, calling onto the service, you know, trying to populate each data and pass it appropriately. You know, we have up to forty-five feet. You know, talking about here, so it might take a while before it's going to refresh to the page, and by that, the uh, the rolling uh, bar just disappears okay that's okay pretty fine uh we have uh, our call being made and you can as you can see very vividly uh this is coming up a, a grid layout and the call of each pictures will be loading as asynchronously you know so this is going to be done in the background and it will be populated once it's been finished you know it depends on the speed of your internet. If you have a very fast internet, this is going to be done within seconds or you no. Know. Okay, let me a click on this is going to come on the activities that I talked about. So let me click on how to create a bitmap blur effect. Okay, and this calls on the uh this this picks the date the details uh, activity. This is just the detail activity showing us the image and also the text view right on it. You no, know, it's been passed from the first activity which is the grid view activity to the detail activity okay i hope you really understand this and if you don't just re rewind back and try to understand it pick up the source code use them and this is going to really help you in your future uh application and it's going to give you a very strong grip of how to call json web service using uh the async tags and also using picasso to populate your images you know i hope you understood this and i would like you to leave a comment if you're finding it tough to really get acclimatized with thank you very much my good listeners for listening to this uh tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i love you guys and i will always continue to deliver something great thank you very much and have a wonderful time bye bye